Russia's strategist and troll army wages info war against U.S. support for Ukraine. The Washington Post reviewed a trove of internal Kremlin documents obtained by a European intelligence service and found proof that a Russian propaganda operation is aimed at weakening American support for Ukraine and discrediting Ukraine in the public eye. The operation poses a grave threat as U.S. support is now crucial for Ukraine's ability to defend itself against Russian aggression. However, Congress has stalled the aid package with over $60 billion for Ukraine for over six months. Without this aid, Ukraine has no choice but to retreat, as per Ukrainian President Zelensky. The Russian propaganda campaign seeks to fuel anti-Ukrainian sentiment by encouraging American isolationism, heightening concerns over U.S. border security and exacerbating economic and racial tensions. The campaign, which intensified in January 2023, involves the creation of thousands of fake news articles, social media posts and comments by Kremlin-linked strategists and troll farms, according to the Washington Post. The metadata from many of the leaked documents points to their creation by a team working under Ilya Gambashidze, the head of a Moscow-based PR firm called the Social Design Agency. Last month, the US sanctioned Gambashidze for his role in a sustained and malicious foreign influence campaign orchestrated by the Kremlin. This campaign, which Western officials have dubbed Doppelganger, involved setting up websites masquerading as legitimate European media outlets. More than 100 leaked documents spanning from May 2022 to August 2023 provide insight into the scale and tactics of Moscow's efforts to weaken support for Ukraine not only in the US but also in France and Germany. One tactic involved creating a fictitious American character who opposes military aid for Ukraine. The character argues that the government should instead allocate the funds to secure America's borders and claims that he sees that Biden's policies are leading the US towards collapse, the Washington Post reports. The Kremlin's strategists recommended numerous ideas for articles and social media posts, including one comparing homelessness levels in the US and Russia, suggesting that the United States increasingly resembles a third world country. Kremlin-linked strategists send out written proposals for social media posts, comments and YouTube videos that would inflame racial and social tensions in the US and highlight themes of widespread poverty, high inflation, economic stagnation, and the potential loss of jobs for white Americans while suggesting that colored and degenerate people and invalids receive special treatment. NATO believes Ukraine destroyed most Russian tanks with drones over last several months. Over the past few months, more than two-thirds of Russian tanks were destroyed by Ukrainian soldiers with the help of the FPV drone, which shows that Kyiv relies on this particular weapon more and more amidst the acute artillery ammunition deficit. Foreign Policy reported this with reference to an official representative of NATO. The story says the FPV drones used by the armed forces of Ukraine have low efficiency. They are equipped with cheap cameras which makes it harder to aim at night or in cloudy weather and often carry improvised explosive devices which sometimes explode right in the air or do not detonate at all. It is noted that in the third year of Russia's full-scale invasion, FPV drones have become nearly ubiquitous on the Ukrainian battlefield. Many of them can carry 10 pounds of explosives or more and after nearly 780 days of non-stop war, drone pilots on both sides have gotten plenty of practice. But for every success, there are nearly as many blooper, real-worthy incidents. These aren't the $20 million apiece Predator drones that the United States uses to hunt terrorist targets in the Middle East. These are inexpensive, off-the-shelf drones that go for $400. The analysts surveyed by Foreign Policy believes that the FPV drone attacks on the Russian tanks have controversial results. Rob Lee, senior fellow of the Eurasian Programme of the Institute of Foreign Policy Research, indicates that a general accuracy of FPV drones in less than 50% and in some cases as many as 10 or more drones are needed to destroy a tank. At the same time, Lee states, Russia is running out of armored vehicles and tanks, so while preserving current dynamics in the combat zone, Moscow may lose its quantitative superiority and make conducting its own offensive operations in the future more difficult. The issue is that Russia's getting a lot of manpower, Lee added. At the beginning of the year, the UK Defence Intelligence analysed the influence of FPV drones over the situation on the left bank of Kherson Oblast and explained why it is difficult for the Russian occupiers to counteract them.